Mozart was the employer of the Archbishop in Salzburg until he was 25 years old. Then he says goodbye, he cannot stand it anymore. He needs to find a new uh, way, new opportunities, and Vienna is the place. And he writes to his father, Vienna is piano land. He immediately built up a network of supporters, a lot of female supporters, um, and students that, that wanted him as a teacher. And he starts writing a lot of instrumental music very often with the piano uh, as a centerpiece. You know, the people have this image of him being a happy-go-lucky guy, but I mean, the, the amount of work. He was putting on concerts himself as an entrepreneur, uh, putting up posters, selling tickets, writing, playing, performing four or five hours of new music. Unbelievable. He organized these concerts in the Melgrube Casino. I imagine that the, the crowd who was there was a combination of aristocracy, who wanted to be entertained, colleagues, probably, very curious colleagues, what is Mozart up to? And that means that Mozart is thinking, ah, oh, what did they hear last time? I cannot do the same this time. You know, I need to show other sides of myself. You see this, the piano concertos become very contrasting. So we have the D minor and the C major, like twin concertos written one month apart. And they're completely different. They give such different emotion. And that was deliberate, of course it was. And Josef Haydn was the great composer in Vienna at this time. And then Haydn gives the most wonderful compliment to Mozart's father. I tell you before God, and as an honest man, your son is the greatest composer known to me by person and reputation. He has the taste, and what is more, the greatest skill in composition.